There is really no such thing as good people or bad people. There's only what makes sense for you and what doesn't make sense for you. And if you stay self-focused, you will have more of an accurate representation of how to navigate life and find more ease and fulfillment and completion. No matter who you are, no matter what kind of person you are, there's always going to be times when you deviate from your characterized self. So if you're, no matter how honest you are, you're going to have a moment when you're going to be dishonest. No matter how peaceful you are, you're going to have a moment when you're aggressive or violent. And so the idea is that when you know that life is impermanent and when you know that people are always in flux, it's an, it would be more wise to really rely on your own internal faculties to understand yourself better to really sense into your body and, and so then it becomes more about you and not figuring out other people or judging them or trying to discern them or have a good, a good judge of character. It doesn't really matter whether they're good people or not good people and that's relevant. What really matters is figuring out what you need and if, if that situation feels good for you or not. That's the idea. So you want to learn to trust yourself, trust your own sense and your body, trust your own sense of knowingness of where you need to be, whether this person feels good for you in this moment or if not, and not to try to figure them out, not to try to understand them, but really understand yourself, whether you need to find a new place or whether it feels good for you and you want to continue to participate in the situation. You know, things just happen and it may not be even out of any kind of maliciousness or negative intent but if you don't trust your own senses and your own internal faculties you're always going to be at odds with the world and you're always going to be putting off your responsibility on other people and other situations <laughs> Thank you.